welcome to the fourth screencast on Altisnips. Today we are going to talk about Python interpolation. I mentioned twice before that it is the most powerful feature in Altisnips and you will quickly see that I was not exaggerating. We will also encounter global snippets and talk about regular expression triggers. Both topics are closely related to Python interpolation. I'm going to present you a real-world snippet that I am using on a daily basis. I use it to control the bug tracker on launchpad.net via email. When I answer to a bug report, I can include lines like this one in the email message to change the status of the bug report. This is very convenient, but the problem are typos. When I misspell the command or its argument, I might not notice. The bug tracker will not recognize the misspelled command and the properties of the bug will not be changed. I therefore want something like an auto-completion for these commands. For example, I can expand the status snippet on this line, so ST and pressing tab, and now I see all the possible options for the status command. I can now uh, type F and only fix committed and fix released will remain, and I can continue on writing fix R and now only fix released remains. So, no chance to make a typo. Okay, let's build this from scratch. Let's start with a simple snippet. Snip, sim, simple. So Python interpolation looks a lot like the interpolation we've seen so far. But Python code gets special objects passed into. The most important one is snip, because snip.rv will be our return value. So this is the most simple Python snippet uh, we can do. So if I expand it, we will just get hello. This is already useful because we have the whole power of Python and especially the Python standard library at our fingertips. Let's write another more useful example that will insert a universal unique identifier. So a new snippet, UUID it's called, and it's a universal unique identifier. Okay, and it also only consists of one Python block. Here we import the UUID standard library module. And now uh, we check for another property of the snip object, which is snip.c, which is the current value of the snippet. I'll explain in a second why this is needed. And the return value will just be a UUID4 and the hex string. And this ends the Python block and also the snippet. Let's try it out. UUID, wonderful. This check of the current value of the Python block is needed to make sure that the return value is only changed when the Python block is evaluated for the first time. Altisnips evaluates each text object that might have a dependency on some tab stop text multiple times to make sure that all dependencies are properly updated. This check makes sure that our return value is not changing randomly on each evaluation of the block. Okay, now let's begin writing an auto-completion snippet. It will look something like this snippet st for status. And for the moment we want it only to be evaluated at the beginning of the line. And it should look something like uh, status. And here's the first tab stop and now comes our Python block. And the return value is simply a call to the complete function and it takes t1. I will uh, explain in a second what this t variable is. And it will take the various options that are possible. So new, incomplete, invalid. You get the idea. Okay, and this is the end. I use the new variable t here. So this one here. It contains the current text of the tab stops. So this t1 here will contain the empty string at snippet expansion and will be updated as I type in the first tab stop. So if, as I type in this position here. Also I use the complete function which is not yet defined. So we have to write this one first. Um, because a complete function might be useful for more than just this snippet, I will write it into a global snippet. So I could define the complete function inside this Python snippet, but instead I will write a global snippet, which is something new. So a global snippet looks like that. Global p and global. And everything between global and end global will be available to all Python blocks that appear in the same snippet file below the definition of this global snippet. 
let's write this complete function. So it takes the text of the top stop, which we want to complete, and the various options for completion. Okay. If the text of the top stop is not the empty string, uh, we want to first filter out all the options that start with the text that is already in the top stop. So this looks like that. Um, m for m in opts if m starts with t. Okay, so that reads as take every option in the array of options if this option starts with the current text and the top stop. Okay, but because the top stop already contains the beginning of the option, we don't want the complete option, but only what is left to complete. So we basically we take everything after the length of the current text. So if, if for example, m is now fixed committed and t already contains f and i, this will only read, uh, this will only be x committed. So that this option will be fixed committed. Okay. Now we check if there's only one option. So if we have a unique, um, unique thing to, to complete, then we return only this unique thing. And if we have more, we return an indication that we have more. So an opening bracket and then um, the options joined with a bar. So this reads a little like um, extended Bacchus Nauer form of the various options. Okay, let's save this and now let's try it out. Um, at the beginning of the line, st, status new and complete invalid, so I type i, incomplete and invalid, in, still, wonderful, inv, now it's unique. Perfect. There's only a minor nuisance now. I'd like the snippet to only expand at the beginning of a line when there's exactly one space in front. So currently it doesn't care, it just expands wherever as long as there only is white space in front. But the Launchpad, launchpad Bug Tracker requires that there is exactly one space in front. Okay, so to do this we use a new snippet options which we have not yet talked about, uh, which is a regular expression trigger. So I changed the snippet definition here to be a slightly different. So I will remove the B so it is not expanded at the beginning of the line and replace it through an R, which means regular expression trigger. And now I have to change this, the trigger. First it has to be delimited. So the first and the last character must be the same. And now I write here a regular expression, so beginning of line, one space, and then st. And now when I save this, I have exactly what I want. So if I now write st and press tab, it no longer expands. Also, if I have two spaces, it no longer expands. It will only expand when I have exactly one space. The snippet is done now. It works exactly as I wanted to. Regular expression triggers can be very powerful together with Python interpolation. The captured groups in the regular expression can be used inside the Python code to modify the output of the snippet depending on the trigger. I'll show you a little silly example. So I have a new snippet, which I call repeat, and it is a regular expression trigger. Okay, so let's write the trigger. And it will be first the word repeat, then I capture one group of numbers and a second group of only word characters. And the content of the snippet will be one Python block. And the return value will be uh, the first match group as an integer multiplied with the second match group as a string. So here we have a new variable, match. And this will be just the match object from the matched um, trigger. And uh, so match.group1 will be the number here and match.group2 will be the word. And we take the, the number as an integer and multiply it with the word, which means in Python that the word will be re repeated number times. So let's try that out. If I write rep3world and press tab, I will get world, 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 world. This concludes the fourth Altisnips screencast and with it my little series on Altisnips. 
I talked about everything I wanted to in these four videos and I have no immediate plans for a fifth one. Of course, I'm open for your topic suggestions. If you like Altisnips, do me two favors please. First, tell your Wim friends to make it more popular and drop me a line to boost my motivation. Thanks for watching.